longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First and 10 now from the 30. Dragon 60. 60 Bobcat. 60 Bobcat. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another Let's big game? Now. Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Trap 60, trap 60. To throw on second down, Williams. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. And the Bears at five and four now on the year. The Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. Throwing on first down, Williams. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Boy, Keenan Allen couldn't pull that one in, but it's going to be second down. You look at this Carolina defense. This unit coming into this one ranked number 20 against the pass in the NFL. They'll take that play right there each and every snap because throughout this season, they've given up some big plays. To be able to hold someone to no game, oh, yeah, they'll take that one all game long. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Hey, Smash! Looking to throw. Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he's got this down to the 35. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think that. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Here we go. They Here work we go. now on second and nine. Cup 19! Cup 19! Ready. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. On 
Uh, backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. To throw on third down, Williams. Pressure comes in, he's brought down, it's a Panther sack. Josie Jewell, the linebacker, getting the sack. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And yeah, just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe mm -hmm. a back, someone to help assist, because right now, their quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and it will be the Panthers' ball, first and ten. yards is the pick up there for number 17. And this is an offense that's near the bottom of the league in rushing, so defensively coming in, you've got to know you're going to see the ball in the air a lot. And that time, it's a completion and a first down on this opening drive. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Young now. And his throw here is incomplete. You look at this Bears defense. They find themselves just a couple of spots outside of the top 10 defending the pass, number 12 in the league. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Big mistakes add up into points against you. And Young's throw there incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work on this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. 35 yards that time on the punt, and the Bears take over. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one, we out execute them, we can walk away with a win. Just need a yard here, hey, second hey. and one. Hey, 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 let's go! Here's the first carry for Khalil Herbert. And he stopped after a gain of one, not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's Williams. 
from the gun on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw, Williams. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. Here's second and 10. 19 light. as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. A bit of a catch for him to remember. That's number 400 for his NFL career. Not a bad number at all. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? A, Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Ready. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. Touchdown, Chicago! A great play there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Bears push the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it, and a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. A one in seven, their record here at the midway point of the season. And right now, this organization, more than likely, if you look at it, CD probably in for a run. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. 55 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ball game. Well, every quarterback, especially a rookie quarterback, loves to have plays like that from a guy running the ball. 
Takes a lot of pressure off the youngster, doesn't it? He doesn't have to throw the ball in bad situations. Just turns around, hands it to his big horse, and we've seen rookie quarterbacks ride great runners right into the playoffs. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Ready. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Ready. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brooks. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. Let's go. The ball on the eight still could get a first down technically. Second and seven. Hey, go Fury. Go. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Here's third down and four. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Let's go. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything's working pretty well for the defense. What's going on on the defensive That's side? That's a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and just run things. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Trap 60, trap 60. Off play action, Williams. And to the right side here, it's Allen. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up third and two. That catches number 819 of his career and ties him with Hall of Famer Steve Largent. Who did things largely below the radar? Not this guy. 819 catches, that speaks loudly and volumes. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Shaq Thompson making his presence felt on the sack. Now how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Looking to throw, Williams. He's gonna look deep for more. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes, you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. The Bears on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and 19. Mustang 19. 19 tight, 19 tight. Check mash, check mash. Back to throw, Williams. Over the middle, and there's a diamond catch. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 45-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow them to convert a third and 18. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. and 10 it's Swift and here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 and the 36 an inexplicable run you can almost feel the ground shaking and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners run around the offensive line in pregame get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Ready. Herbert powering up the middle. And yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. It's a big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's okay, room to run. A pitch out to Swift here. And shutting through the tackle. And able to work his way down to the 16. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Bronco 80. 79 Bronco. Ready. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this throw incomplete. The defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Go, Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They only needed one yard on third down. They get ten instead by going to the air. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up a first down. Captain Hustle! 
Here's Swift. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. DeAndre Swift, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And this will not be returned, it'll come out to the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with just under a minute to go, they oh, might try to think oh, about shit. mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone to potentially tie this game up. Drill green. Ready, ready. First down, Young. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Down. Young's incompletion yeah, yeah. on first down leads to a second and ten. Yeah. They'll drop to throw. Open here, Adam Thielen. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage up. after it. You yell it. First and ten, Young. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. He can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Ready. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Ready? Here's a give up the middle. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Corey Blassen game as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand-new ball game. Point after, right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Come on, come on. The Bears hey. offense ready to go for come their come next drive. Come, and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not Get sure how up, aggressively, up, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Eluding the pressure right. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Hey, team, run! 
In motion, the tight end. Now Williams, a final shot before break. And his throw is incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Come on. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what... And he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. And remember, he put one on the ground last week. So the rookie now back-to-back -back weeks with a fumble loss. And zero excuses, but altogether not surprising. Rookie running. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Young. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Brooks, just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. To throw on second down is Young. And that almost their first INT in the ball game. He had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there, waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start, but they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Young on third down. He's to the 15. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 12-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, 
That's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Looking to throw, Young. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and the Bears are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. Now he's loose at the 40. Now look out. He's to the 20. And he's going to be out of bounds here, all the way down inside the 10. A huge play there for Chicago. 84 yards on the ground. So they dig a little deeper in the playbook there, get the wide receiver the ball running it, and it proves fruitful. Love the call. When you've got a guy who has running back skills, you want him to touch the ball as well, not just out wide where you throw it to him. Make sure you hand it to him or toss it to him and let him go to work. Ready. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Looking to throw, Williams, and that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches, fourth down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is, that's a pass he's gotta have and a pass he should have caught. Santos' kick is up and through, and they take a 17-14 lead. Said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And he cannot get away, and Young will go down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Well, they were trying to set up a screen there, but that one just too slow and developing. Yeah, too slow and developing and well read because that ends up being a bad feeling for the quarterback. Well, he's got no blocking in front of him. His guys are just going to let defenders go, and they're coming for him. So if it's not there, you just got to throw the ball at the turf at your running back speed. And he's going to have another 
first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 43. 23 yards to pick up there. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. It's Young on first down. And he's got the speedster good one. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. They'll run on first down. It's Brooks. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second and a couple. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brooks. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Throwing. Young. This is going to be incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming from the left hash. A chip shot here. And his kick is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Boy, what a start to the week this has been. All tied fourth quarter as the kick's away. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Now a play fake here on first down. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Off the play fake, Williams. They'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Kamara. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. They'll run the draw here with Swift. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. 
And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Williams now looking to throw on second down. Williams loses the football, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the yeah, ball over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. On second down, it's Brooks. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. From here, it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt, certainly in range, but they'll look for more yardage on third down. to throw Young. And this is going to be intercepted. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off. And the Bears are going to get the football here at their own 23. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week and how he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. Williams throwing to strike the drive. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here we go, here we go. Now it's second and ten. To throw again, Williams. And pass complete to Moore. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. I like what I'm seeing from them here. Tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. Now they'll change things around before the snap. From the gun, here's Swift. Down the sideline he goes. DeAndre Swift. Trying to tiptoe the pylon, but they're going to say he stepped out at the one yard line. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. is into the end zone for a Bears touchdown. Sometimes offense, if you get too cute 
down near the goal line. But there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now the point after try for Santos. And they will take a seven point lead now. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. This is first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Okay, Here ready? comes second down. Hey, red. Steel, black. Blaster, thick. Cut, cut. Here's Young from the shotgun. His throw incomplete. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield okay. to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Here's Young. multiple defenders get to him. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Here we go. This is fourth down. Now Young. Complete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. We got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Now a second and six. Ready, ready. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I love the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Ready up. Here now, no, third no. and a yard. Bronco switch. Bronco switch. They'll run with Herbert. 
And he is going to have the Bears first. And that should be the capper. It's a gain of three there, and that should be just about all she wrote. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for Chicago, it's an important win in terms of staying in the postseason race as they move to six and four. And they'll have a few extra days here now before they face the Lions next week. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, the difficult season continues as they drop to one and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.